equal to the sum of the frequencies times the x minus the mu squared all over the sum of the frequencies. Okay? So once again, if we expand this particular term out, if we, let's say, iterate across all of the discrete observations, okay? So this would become, this is equal to uh, F1, the first frequency, times the first observation minus the mean squared, plus the second observation times the second, excuse me, times this, the second frequency times the second observation minus the mean squared, plus all the way through to the nth frequency times the nth observation minus the mean squared all over, once again, all over the sum of the frequencies. And this is a common denominator across each one of these particular terms. So we can break this up into it's F1 times X1 minus mu squared all over the sum of the frequencies plus F2 times X2 minus mu squared over the sum of the frequencies plus all the way through to Fn times Xn minus mu squared over the sum of the frequencies. And once again, we have this term here, F1 over sigma F, F2 over sigma F, Fn over sigma F, which is the actual probability of the first term. I don't forget. F1, F1 over sigma F is actually the probability of observing the first, the, the, the first discrete value. F2 over sigma F is the probability of observing the second one. And Fn over sigma F is the probability of observing the nth discrete observation. Okay, so this actually now becomes, it's, well, this is F1 over sigma F is P of X1 times X1 minus mu squared plus F2 over sigma F is P of X2 times X2 minus mu squared plus all the way through to the nth observation, which is P of Xn, the probability Fn over sigma f is the probability of the nth, the nth discrete observation times xn minus mu over uh, uh, xn minus mu uh, squared. And once again, this is a summation. So we can just, we can, I suppose, let's say we can, we can contract this back down. We can fold it back down into a single summation. This becomes the sum of the probability iterated across all of the objects, yeah, the, all of the outcomes, yeah, times the outcome minus the mean squared. Okay? Uh, sometimes, well, A times B is the same as B times A. Okay? So this is actually the same as the sum of the, the X's minus the mu squared times the probability of X. And this is the variance of a probability distribution. So here's another formula now for us. Okay? So now what we have is we have done our mean value so now we have our variance, the variance uh, of a discrete distribution. Uh, it's sigma squared is, it's sometimes called the var of x. And all it's equal to is, well, what have we got? We have, it's the sum of the x's minus the mean squared times the probability of each x. Sometimes this might be redefined, redefined, or with different symbols, because we know that mu is the expected value of x. So sometimes this is, is actually written as the sum of the x is minus the expected value of x squared times the probability of x. That's the variance, okay? So that's our variance formula, okay? So this is our variance done, okay? And then finally, we have our standard deviation, which is just the square root of the variance. So the standard deviation, the standard deviation, Okay, is simply sigma and it's equal to, let's say, the standard deviation. Let's say STD of X, the standard deviation of X is simply the square root. It's the square root of the variance. So the square root of the sum of the X is minus the mu squared times the probability, times the probability of X. Okay, and this here is our standard, is our standard deviation. Okay, so there's our three formulas, okay? And to calculate them, it's straightforward enough. Once again, let's just write down our probability distribution again. Okay, so our probability distribution, uh, x and p of x, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, the face values of a kind, or some face values of a die, and our probabilities that we had written down earlier on was 0 0.07, 0 0.13, 0 0.20, 0 0.26, 
0.20 and finally 0.13. So to calculate the mean, don't forget, to calculate the mean, it's the sum of the x's times the probabilities. So what we do is we calculate the x times the probability of x and we sum them up, okay? So we do the sigma, we sum up this column to give us our mean value, okay, our mu. To calculate the variance, okay, well, for each observation, for each observation, we need to take away the mean value. And we've just calculated the mean value here. So we take it away and then we square it. And then finally, what we do is we take the probability column and we multiply it by this column. So we have x minus mu squared times p of x gives us this product. Okay, write down all of the terms, okay, down each single term. This isn't about doing the calculations, it's just about the formulas. But then what we do is we sum this up, and what that gives us is our, is our variance. Okay. Okay, guys, once again, this was Jonathan Lambert with uh, Maths and Stats, uh, and I hope that this video was in some way uh, intuitive. And more importantly, I do hope that was helpful for you, and thanks for watching.